You know, one of the things we didn't talk about in our review of Donkey. What? How you were masturbating during the film. Yeah, we didn't Maybe talk about that. Maybe that's why I missed a lot. Yeah, we didn't talk about that. No, we didn't talk about, I don't remember us talking about the ripoff of Fiddler on the Roof in that film. I forgot about it. Yeah, I did too. Well, there's, there's the Iranian version of, of tradition, I guess. It might be. It might have just been the, doing the, obviously it was the song. You know this, I don't know if you know this, but I, I, I may have actually been on that trail and didn't even realize it when I was a kid because my mom and I had to, we were snuck out of Iran. So I... I actually may have been on that trail and didn't even realize it. The donkey trail? Yeah. Oh, wow. Because we were there filming a movie right around the time pre-revolution. The Shah was in power, and the Shah and, and Puri Benayi, who was one of the stars of the film, was really close to the Shah. And they the, the, the government was asking for our passports, and we weren't going to leave the country. And I think it was Paramount that was doing the film and told all production. We were in mid-production, said, get out of Dodge, get out. And we didn't even we didn't even have a rap party or anything. We were in mid filming and we all had to leave. I remember being snuck out with my mom at the break of dawn in Tehran, being told to take cover, lay on the floor of the car, be covered in blankets. We slept in the car that night somewhere. And then we were in an airport in the desert somewhere 24 hours later. I don't even know where we were. Iraq. I don't know. Oh, wow. Isn't that wild? That's wild. Yeah. My mom will remember. Was Bowman there? Bowman, oddly. He wasn't in the car, but he was on the plane. Oh, well. He greeted us on the plane. Very nice. Yeah. Juice. Today we got a uh, Best Ever Food Review show. This is actually oh, good. eating all day for $5 in Chennai. Cheapest street food. That's all. So we'll explore Chennai's budget-friendly street food scene, attempting to enjoy an entire day's worth he of meals. He strategically the puts these towards the end of our dollars. filming day First, let's so back. we can eat afterwards. Yep. I, I appreciate it. Welcome yeah, yeah. to Chennai, Eat the vibrant tonight. capital of Tamil Nadu, situated in the southernmost part of India. Home South to nearly 12 million East. people, it's the fourth most populated city in the nation. And hey, here's a fun fact. National Geographic ranked Chennai among the top 10 food cities in the entire world. Nice. Wow. Oh, that was delicious. Today, oh. we're putting that claim to the test with an epic food adventure, oh, no. challenging ourselves to eat our way across this food city with just $5 in our pocket. Oh. From a 50 cent chicken roll that outshines even the best wraps of Chipotle. <laughs> to Not gonna take much to outshine the wrap at Chipotle. Gravy crafted I like Chipotle. 50 different Eat it all the time. Yeah, we are at for uh, 48 ingredients in that. Get ready for the ultimate cheap street food tour in Chennai. 48 ingredients. begin our journey with Chennai's favorite cheap breakfast dish, a 50 cent pancake, so revered that it's reserved solely for Sundays, available between the early hours of 6 a.m. and 10 a.m. Oh. Meet at Lampang, a renowned pancake originating from Chennai's Kasi Medu neighborhood. This 20 year old delicacy is skillfully prepared using a technique exclusive to this dish. Start by adding oil to a heated pan. Once hot, pour in batter made from rice flour, egg, coconut flour, semolina, turmeric, and sugar. Next, crack an egg into a bowl and give it a good whisk. Drizzle the beaten egg over the pancake and sprinkle on some coconut, cashews, and raisins. Afterward, cover the vessel with another pot, creating a makeshift oven. Let it cook for five to ten minutes, then serve and enjoy. Mm. 
It's kind of like a quiche. Yeah, the it does. The texture of the atlampa is a bit like a deep dish pizza, crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. The flavors are mild and slightly sweet, with hints of egg and coconut that add a unique touch. Attention, rap aficionados and budget warriors. Get ready for our next stop. We've discovered a roll stuffed with enough eggs and chicken to make your taste buds leap, and all of it for less than 50 cents. Introducing the chicken roll, an unassuming wrap that's captured the locals' hearts for the past five years with its succulent fillings and pocket-friendly price. This shop turns out 300 to 350 of these delights daily. Think of it as a close cousin to the chicken shawarma, but at a steal, less than half the price, making it a treat everyone can savor without breaking the bank. Rolls are a really popular a thing in Calcutta, in, in Johnny's neighborhood. Chili sauce, yeah. chicken chili roll, sauce, tomato ketchup, goat, salt, and chicken masala. You know, mutton rolls. Follow with water and create a delicious thick sauce. Now drop in the fried chicken pieces and let it absorb all those flavors. In the meantime, let's prepare the wrap. Crack a couple eggs and whisk them up. Pour them on a hot towel and slap the paratha bread on top. Once the egg is cooked, it's time to assemble. Add a spoonful of coriander chutney and a scoop of mayonnaise. Spread it all over the bread and top it with red onions and uh, diced cucumbers. My favorite. Oh, it's so gross. <laughs> Fine, I love cucumbers. I do too. And roll. Oh, I also like celery. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Forget oh. about Chipotle because this wrap will blow you away without blowing a hole through your Chipotle. wallet. Imagine a chicken filled with bursting pretty regularly. tangy it's and close spicy by. flavors, all snugly wrapped in a Can't warm, eggy paratha blanket. Now that is hard to beat. Yeah, there's one really close to us, so we eat that a lot. India is the land of curries, from the spicy ones. <laughs> Oh, it's so it's funny how many Americans assume ones. curry is just a particular yellow this kind of thing. Like this. One incredibly unique curry made from shredded bread crumbs. Oh. <laughs> I love that. Oh. This is a kotu parota. Kotu is a Tamil word for shred, and parota is a type of flaky South Indian flatbread. This popular street food, originating in the Indian so subcontinent, yummy. is particularly celebrated in the state of Tamil Nadu. Look at how thin that Start is. by kneading and folding wheat flour dough into perfect round balls. Place them on a hot tawa and flatten them into parota breads. Isn't this the one that they mash after they cook it? After achieving that perfect crispiness, the parotas undergo the smashing process, yeah. giving rise to their signature. Yeah, smack that flaky. bread. <laughs> Now, the gravy. Start by sauteing a medley of onions, tomatoes, green chilies, and curry leaves, all on a hot towel. Oh. Crack in a few eggs, then layer in the shredded parota bread, followed by a flavorful mutton gravy, a concoction crafted from a blend of masala, onions, tomatoes, tender mutton, ginger garlic paste, salt, turmeric, and garam masala. Enhance oh. it further with a touch of tomato puree. Like, um, Let everything mingle rice. together and serve yeah, with the whole exactly parota very bread. Similar. Oh. That's amazing. The smashed parota bread soaks up all the flavors of the mutton curry, creating a hearty dish, like a flavorful take on scrambled eggs. It has a simple yet intriguing taste that keeps you coming back for more. But don't worry, you'll still have money left over to invest in Dogecoin. That's because this dish costs <laughs> less than $2. That's expensive. Yeah. Coming up, another dish under $2. A dish so spicy, they named it after gunpowder. Prepare for savory rice cakes, seasoned with magic dust that will set your tongue on fire. Magic it dust? Burns. Magic dust, man. 
ட்ரெடிஷ்னலாக பார்த்தீங்கன்னா நம்ம தமிழ்நாடுனாலே இட்லி தான் ஃபேமஸ்ஸு அதுவும் மதுரையில் வந்து உங்களுக்கு ஃபேமஸ்ஸு எங்கள் மிஸ்ஸஸ் வந்து மதுரை தான் அவங்க தான் இதை வந்து ஆரம்பித்தாங்க இந்த இட்லி இதை வீட்டில் பண்ணுவாங்க சரி இது நல்லா இருக்குது அதனால் இதையும் வந்து ட்ரை பண்ணலான்னு சொல்லிட்டு தான் நாங்கள் ஹோட்டலாக ஆரம்பித்து மற்ற ஐட்டம் எல்லாமும் நாங்கள் பண்ணுறோம் எங்களுடைய இட்லி அதான் ஸ்பெஷலு மற்ற இது வந்து எங்களுக்கு பார்த்திங்கன்னா ப்ரைஸிங்ஸ் வந்து ஒன் தேர்ட்டி ப்ளஸ் ஜிஎஸ்டி கொடுக்குறோம் பட் லோ ப்ரைஸ் ஏன் கொடுக்குறோம் அப்படின்னா பட் எங்களுக்கு வந்து ஒன் தேர்ட்டிக்கு நாங்கள் கொடுக்குறோம் இட்லி நிறையா பண்ணுறதுனால எங்களுக்கு மாவு நிறையா சேல்ஸ் பண்ணுறோம் அதனால் எங்களுடைய அந்த காஸ்ட் வந்து கம்மியாக நாங்கள் கொடுக்குறோம் Say hello Looks to delicious. Dean no Cody Idli, a that. unique dish made from bite-sized rice lentil pancakes and like tuna with flaming hot gutter powder yeah, spice. Yeah, that's really cool. Begin by pouring the Idli batter, a mix of split black lentils and parboiled rice. That goes into special pancake molds and gets steamed for 10 to 12 minutes. While the idlis are steaming, heat ghee in a pan and add cumin, chana dal, or split chickpea lentils, curry leaves, and red onions. Roast until the curry leaves turn crispy. Then add our idli mini pancakes. Now it's time to introduce the gunpowder spice, a fiery blend crafted from lentils and the hottest chilies available. Mix everything thoroughly and serve alongside sambar, a vegetable stew, along with tomato and coconut chutneys that provide a cool contrast. I do like the mini idlis. I like yeah. that. I like that idea a lot. It's like an idli cereal. Each bite feels <laughs> like a spicy cannonball exploding in your mouth. But don't worry, the softness of those lentil rice cakes push in the blood. I know what else will explode in your mouth, its and it's soft. And a hint of sweetness. It's a playful and addictive dance between the fiery spice and comforting softness. Mmm, I love that comforting softness. As our food journey continues, our next stall owner is a food magician who specializes in a unique oh. dosa filled with the chicken gravy I just and love 48 dosa. other ingredients. This is using chicken kima is almost we are one made masala. We are using for the 48 ingredients on this uh, masala. Even we are concentrating focusing on the masala. Mm. So we are first quality we are giving so especially so people are like here that is we are one of the best. Chicken keema is a simple easy to make Indian stew made from minced chicken mixed with dozens of ingredients. But here they decided to give it an upgrade and not just double but triple the typical mm. amount of ingredients. Normally the keema would be served with rice and some type of Indian bread, but since we're in South India, the preferred way of serving it is inside a dosa. Can't blame you. After the batter is poured on the hot tawa, top it with oil and crack in a couple eggs. Spread them around and let it cook. Now it's time for the keema made from minced chicken, tomatoes, ginger garlic paste, onions, red chili powder, salt, cinnamon, curd, bay leaves, cardamom, cumin, cloves, turmeric, ghee, mustard oil, garam masala and much much more. Top everything with fresh coriander and serve with chicken curry That's and mutton curry. That's just a thing curry. of you. 30 cents. <coughs> The crispy dosa shell is the perfect vessel, delivering a punch of oh. flavor from the chicken keema. And if this explosion of flavors on the inside is not enough, you can always dip it in one of the curries on the side. All this <coughs> for under two dollars. You simply won't find a better deal. Ah. Uh. After a full day of enjoying Chennai's wallet-friendly street food, did we manage to stay within our five-dollar budget? Yes. Well, unfortunately, no. In oh. the end, we slightly exceeded our limit. No! I'm not only <laughs> devastated, I'm heartbroken. But I gotta say, as far as splurges go, this was absolutely worth it. The dishes were unique, and each had an amazing story behind them. So in the end, we didn't just pay for the food; we paid for an experience. But now it's time to choose my absolute favorite of the day. Was it the deep dish at La Pomme, the value-packed chicken roll, the flaky kotu parotta, the fiery gunpowder, or the delicious chicken keema dosa? I'd be, I'd be, just at face. For me, my vote goes to the Pody Idli. Those tiny cakes didn't just set my hypothetical mouth on fire; they ignited a flame that spread from my heart to my hypothetical stomach, and soon enough, all my digestive tract. So, which one had you hooked? Let me know in the comments downstairs below. And for more indulgent feasts for your senses, be sure to subscribe to Best Ever Food India. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. 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 Um. Lovely. Yeah. Ugh. Delectable. I'm so hungry now. Yep. It's got me thinking. All kinds of options.
Do you guys have a good? Do you find a good Indian place yet near you? Or no. My kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. If we you, don't. We you, don't go. We if, when we want Indian food and Johnny makes it. I don't think that's most Indians. Yeah. I think I don't trust anybody. No, our our Make friends it. who just moved to Vegas. We talked about them. She has a YouTube channel, Dut House Roshni. <sighs> Roshni is a kick-ass cook. I want to um, find like, another Bengali girl. I wish I. I don't think there's one. There's a Michelin star Indian restaurant in New York. Mm. Um, I wish it was here. Yeah, I would love to g- taste what a Michelin star I know. Indian restaurant. I know. Like. That's like saying a Michelin star Mexican restaurant. I'm I keep. Like, think- I don't even know what that means. I know. I ke- I keep thinking about the place that used to be the Bombay, the the the, the Bollywood food truck that now has Agna Tandoori, where we used to go. Keep think every time we watch a food video, I'm thinking we have got to contact them. They asked us to come and try the food, but I keep forgetting. The, instead, we just come on the food. Well, good you can se- good seasoning. Yeah, is it? Yeah, interesting. It's a nice saucy flavor. Uh... Anyways, let us know what you thought about the video. Let us know what other food videos we should react to down below. Juice!